Hi, it's me. I know it's been a while, um, but you know, I started my job and um, it's kept me quite busy and I just thought I'd catch you guys up on where we're at. So I am about a week and a half into my job at Starbucks. My first week was training, lots of computer work, lots of um, information that I'm never going to remember. Um, I had a bit of a breakdown on Saturday because I was just so tired, like changing my schedule to be able to get up at that time of day on a regular basis. It didn't matter how much sleep I got. Like, it's like my body knew that it just should not be awake at that time. So I was struggling. I was really tired. I just felt like I was never going to be able to remember anything. Um, and then Sunday came and, you know, after some sleep and whatnot, um, I was on drive through and I didn't do awful. Basically, as soon as I got to dealing with customers, things started to get a little bit better. Then on Monday, I was on bar, which wasn't just me. I really loved how... It was my store manager assigned herself and myself on bar so that she could just go over everything with me. And um, I did. I absolutely forgot everything, just like I thought I would. Um, but she was patient with me, and um, I just was able to get a little bit better each time I made something. And no customers died or returned their drinks, so that was good. Um, and then I was on customer support the other day, which was intense as well. Um, I also felt like I forgot everything. I made an entire batch of pipe with that was must have been like 50% coffee grounds. <laughs> I was like pouring mud. It was so gross. Um, but no one treated me like I was dumb or stupid or anything like that. And everyone was really kind to me when I asked 1,001 questions. Um, so that was better than I expected. So Wednesday, yesterday, I don't remember what I did, but I did it. And I'm feeling more optimistic today. Today's Thursday. So, you know, I'm still, I'm still not in the place where I can say whether or not I'm going to be able to do this, but I'm more positive than I was on Saturday where I was absolutely convinced I was just going to suck and that it was never going to work and I was just going to be tired for the rest of my life. Um, so that's not the case. So I was excited about that. And then in the other portion of my life, which all the portions of my life involve dealing with this infertility, um, I went for my baseline ultrasound yesterday to see when we can do the trigger shot for our first IUI cycle. And I had some great follicles. I had two that were 23 and 24 millimeters. And then on my right side, I had two that were pathetic and around 10. Um, so we decided to go ahead and trigger yesterday and do IUI today. Um, I don't know how to feel about that because our chances are still so astronomically low, like 8%. Um, and my lining was a little thin, so I'm going to be on progesterone. So on the one hand, I would really, 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 really like to not do IVF. And a lot of whether or not we do IVF rides on this cycle because while IUI isn't expensive compared to IUI, uh, complete, compared to IVF, um, considering that you have to do it about four times for you to get your best opportunity, opportunity, your best chance at a positive of success, um, you know, four times. $700 um, is about the cost of what we're expecting to pay for just our meds for IVF. So it's one of those things where like, yeah, we can keep doing that, but why throw thousands of dollars at an 8% chance when we can save those thousands of dollars to maybe have a second chance or a third chance 
at 40%, which is much better. Um, I mean, it's still less than half, <laughs> less than a coin flip, but it's way better than eight. So we were pretty much in the boat of just one IUI and then taking a break before my benefits kick in, which at that point we'll be doing IVF. But I'm not looking forward to the injections. I'm not looking for the emotional toll. I'm not looking forward to juggling a hundred ultrasounds, all kinds of stuff. So, you know, I really want this IUI to work. But I also really know that it would also be a miracle if it did. On our first IUI, with the male factor that we have, it would just be incredible. So trying to keep my expectations realistic while still trying to be positive and hopeful is a really weird line to walk. Um, the actual IUI was so quick, um, like two minutes, like literally two minutes. Um, I was in shock. I didn't realize it didn't hurt. Like I didn't even know it was over. That's how quick and easy it was. I do feel really nauseous today. I think that's from the trigger uh, yesterday. Um, you know, being an HG, HCG shot, um, it's going to have all of those pregnancy symptoms as well. Yay. Another reason to feel pregnant, but to not be pregnant. And then I did take um, a pregnancy test today, not because I was expecting to find out if I was pregnant, but to test out the trigger shot. Um, I plan on taking one every day so that I know when it's blank, anything after that could actually be a positive. Otherwise, I would just be second guessing any positive result that I hopefully will be getting. Um, and it was just really nice to see those two lines, even though I knew it wasn't a positive, it was just the trigger in my system. It's just been so long and so many tests that have been negative and it was just nice to not see a negative test for once. Like I said, even if it doesn't mean anything, it was just pretty and a happy thing to see. So who knows how I feel about taking those in the future, but for today it was good. I'm alive. I have, I had the day off today. Um, and then I'm back to the grindstone tomorrow. Um, not dreading it. So that's good. Um, and I guess we'll just see how it goes. So here is hoping that any of this information has been helpful to you. And again, if you want anything specific about what training involves, you know, anything to do with Starbucks and all that, anything to do with IUI, how my fertility is going, um, you just let me know. The comments are there for you and I'd be happy to cover any of that. So I'll get back to you guys with another video as soon as I can. Um, if I have any more information, I'll try and push for that sooner. Um, but otherwise, I'm just trying to nap when I can nap and uh, adjust. So yeah, hope you guys have a fertile week and that um, your miracles happen. Thank you. Bye.